if this was 2016 i would have probably not made this chapter because back then there were very few literatures to learn ux from and you could get jobs by being an okay designer however today the problem is not scarcity of learning resources it is the abundance of it with so many students learning with so many teachers teaching the competition is very high and you no longer can be an okay designer and crack a job you are expected to be a much better designer than that earlier you had less awareness less openings less applicants low barrier to entry and less learning resources now you have more awareness more openings more applicants and high barrier to entry because of that and you also have more learning resources and this more learning resources can be both good and bad good that you have choices bad that you have too many choices and now it seems overwhelming to learn so much from so many resources however to deal with it you need to narrow down your learning choices and this chapter is all about just that here's a glimpse of what's coming next we will cover three strategies to filter learning sources two habits to learn faster four authentic sources that have stood the test of time and something that i still use and finally two secret cheat codes to learn ux in 2024 If you had not subscribed to this channel kindly subscribe a sense of growth will motivate me to make more videos and i already have 40 chapters outlined for you so please subscribe and don't miss out on that all right let's take a look at the first part three strategies to filter learning sources do background research on your mentors for example imagine you have a tooth pain and you need to visit a doctor or a dentist you will do your research find the best dentist in the town who is obviously in your budget and you will go to that person you will not probably go to somebody just because they live closer to your house right similarly in today's time there are many creators who will pop up in your feed for short content it is still fine but if you are planning to pay long term attention to a source of knowledge you should do a background research of who the creator is basically you do that by going to their linkedin and audit who they are be very selective of who you pay attention to just like how you are very selective of who you pay money to and also just because someone is on camera or holding a mic on stage or have a big following on social media don't think that they are experts they can be but first do check their linkedin and see if they are credible enough to teach seek beyond charisma as a content creator i can say there are 100 ways to keep an audience hooked to the screen like speak fast and shout in videos as if the world is on fire like classic example would be mr beast and obviously indian news channels or you can also edit videos like it's a film trailer every 2 seconds pop something new to the screen so that the audience gets stimulated by it or talking about simulation you can have five moving items on the screen like a text like some icons like some fire uh, images or fire effects on the screen so that the audience gets stimulated by it all these techniques are biological hacks just to hypnotize you into paying attention if you want to be a serious learner however you need to seek beyond infotainment you need to seek beyond people whom i like to refer as econs e c o n excellent communicator of nonsense these are people who are great at speaking but have no value add to your life it is basically very convenient to listen to such great speaker or watch content that is highly edited for engagement however what is not very convenient is to get out of that comfort zone that convenience zone and be open to reading and watching credible but non charismatic people it would be boring and it would be difficult at start but then if you don't have enough intention to sit through it you should ask yourself one question am i here to learn the subject or am i here to be hypnotized by the presentation think about it next don't expect spoon feeding at least from my course if i give micro level actionable steps then every student who is taking this course will turn into a template designer which is like a designer who has no uniqueness to add and after a point of time you will ask me how can i be unique how can i stand out from others the answer is you stop being a template designer and try your best to not be like everybody else and i have seen this play out in the industry i am conscious about it and i am as much as possible trying to refrain from giving such micro level hand holdings for example i am not going to say these are the 10 things needed in a persona i am going to give you rational behind why certain things are added to a particular persona and it is up to you to decide what to add 
now for people who don't understand persona it's like me telling you to go to this road and run for 2 kilometers i'll not do that instead i will say go to this field and do whatever you want to do but burn 200 calories so you get that freedom to explore you get that playground to play and that's how you become unique because everybody then plays a different game for themselves right and when it comes to you selecting mentors please don't eliminate the ones who don't give you direct answers instead give you frameworks and don't expect people to always give you a step by step guide of everything don't expect people to spoon feed you be open to the adventure of exploring the internet for answers now here are two habits to learn ux faster there is a saying by a greek philosopher called socrates he says there are many good things in this world that i don't need this is something that i repeat to myself whenever there is a black friday sale or there is a amazon pay great indian sale or a big billion day sale on flipkart i keep reminding myself that there are many good things in this world that i don't need and as an habit this is what i want to preach which is try to prioritize what is important to you for example as a beginner you should focus to learn the basics and build a strong foundation in design rather than spending hours into finding the right figma plugin to convert your design to code or searching for hours for a fancy font to put in your resume title put money and energy into what matters everything else is noise when i say put money i mean to be open to spending money to accelerate your learnings the best investment obviously what you can do is actually not investing in mutual fund or stock market the best investment you can do is investing in yourself reading text is faster than watching videos this is something that not a lot of people understand see when you read you can scan the entire paragraph and decide for yourself when you want to focus where you want to focus videos are not scannable hence they are slower reading definitely needs more active energy i agree and probably that's why a lot of designers refrain from reading or making reading a habit i'm not saying read books read uh, 20 articles all together what i'm saying is read short form content and be habituated with reading and my advice would be to be open to reading blogs and articles and i'll share a few examples later in this video and i'm saying that because especially in ux there are many great thought leaders who don't have the time to make youtube video or youtube content and create a channel and maintain a channel hence what they prefer is they prefer writing instead of making videos in fact almost 99% of the time you will see in tech industry especially the first big ideas that will come up will be in the written text format mainly because it is easy to produce and most importantly it is because it is easy to update so create a habit of learning by reading and don't just rely on live videos or live classes and here are the four reading resources that i have been following since last 10 years first one is nng blogs nielsen norman group blogs jacob nielsen and don norman are the two founders of it and they are the two biggest names in the ux industry so definitely follow that you will get very well researched blogs in the topic of ux so if you want to learn ux that's what you should first uh, look at if you want to learn ui design however the best starting point that i can give you is google material design guidelines for android and apple's ios design guidelines which are excellent starting points like i said i will give the links to them in the description you can check that out and if you want to learn figma there are two ways i would say tool the best way to learn tools would be through videos of course but if you want to go deep and or if you are stuck on a certain particular feature or there is a bug that you have encountered the best place to actually go and resolve that issue is you have to go through official documentation by figma nobody does a better job of documenting the product figma than figma themselves so every time you are stuck with something go to figma documentation and read now let's take a look at two cheat codes the reason i'm calling them as cheat codes is because it will give you unfair advantages yes but it will also have some downsides as well first cheat code is don't wait to learn all the theories in ux start with a project and learn whatever theory comes in your way try to apply as much as learnings as possible in that particular project for example a project can be to create a community app for content creators to communicate with each other share tips resources gadgets make collaborative projects and so on 
and what you need to do is create this project with a mindset to learn so you need to keep adding new features or building new features in the project as you start learning new things so basically keep refining your design process and keep applying whatever you learn the objective here is very different from building a product the objective here is to actually learn so don't add this to your portfolio ever this technique is excellent for knowledge retention but the downside is it is a slow way to learn so if you are trying to learn ux within one month two month three month and get a job probably this technique is going to slow you down a little bit but the upside is it has high retention value so it is up to you whether you want to use this technique or not next second cheat code is to get a mentor after you have done a few projects and you have got a hang of what exactly ux design is right so mentors what they will do is they will accelerate your learning speed by guiding you to the right resources first and then the most important part is helping you fill knowledge gaps that you yourself might not be able to discover on your own so finding again good mentors is tough but you can try adp list and some of its competitors to find a mentor in fact you can also join my ux community on whatsapp and seek mentors many junior members have found senior members available to mentoring them and you can do the same as well but since like i said it is a cheat code while you get the unfair advantage of filling your gaps quickly the disadvantage is if you get used to always seeking external help to fix yourself you may become dependent on it and lose out or get slow down on discovering that side of you who can fix their problems on their own so everybody discovers some superpowers within themselves throughout their career and if you are always constantly dependent on a particular mentor all the time you might become very dependent and very helpless when they are not around so that is a downside of uh, choosing a mentor so be careful when you have a mentor who is working with you don't be over dependent on them so in the next chapter we will debunk common misconceptions about design in india we will discuss what ux designers actually do and how do you explain to your parents what you want to do as a ux designer so like share and subscribe see you in the next one there are 40 chapters we will cover all of them in a sequence see you in the next one